Hi, I'm Jack Silver and I'm one of the team members here at Marina Del Rey Yacht Sales. And while we sell both power boats and sailboats and so forth, I oftentimes will have people come in and they'll say things like, oh, I don't want to sailboat, they're too much work or they're too complicated. And I kind of laugh in a way because I am more of a sailor than a power boater. Uh, and I often kind of wonder about uh, that whole you know, that issue and I've taken many people out and I've said well let's just really explore this concept of how hard it is at work and what, what does it mean it's work? Um, is rock climbing, if you're into rock climbing, is that work or playing golf, is that work? Uh, these are all hobbies that require a certain level of attention and commitment and so forth. Uh, the difference is, and for me, is I tried golf once and I quickly came to the conclusion that I would be one of those guys that would probably throw their clubs down the ground or break them or whatever. It's very, you know, it would be very frustrating. But sailing, I find, is a very different experience. I moved here nine years ago from the East Coast, and on the East Coast, uh, in a good year, you might be able to sell sail for five or six months out of the year. So I used to always joke that, you know, I was a, a total workaholic right up until sailing season. And then I found my life and world changed because when you go out on a boat, for me, in my experience is, you get out there and you have to watch the wind, you trim the sails, you have the silence of the water lapping against the boat, and I find it absolutely, totally takes your mind off of everything you've been putting up with all week long. The, because you're attending to the sails and the trim and so forth, you're not thinking about all the day-to-day -day crap that you've had to put up with in the office. So, is it too much work? I don't know. You know, if I take you out there, and one of the beautiful parts of sailing here in Southern California is we go out and once we clear the breakwater and we put the sails up, the wind generally comes from one direction and whatever direction that happens to be that day, it stays pretty steadily. So you get out there past that breakwater, you head up toward Malibu, you have the beautiful mountains in the background, you have a vision of Los Angeles that probably very few Angelinos have ever seen, you go past Venice Beach and then you go into uh, uh, Santa Monica and you head toward Malibu. You, you set your autopilot, which is, I have to admit, it revolutionizes sailing. You get that sails trim, you put the autopilot on, and for the next hour and a half or two hours, however long you want to sail toward Malibu, uh, you just sit there and enjoy the silence. You know, hopefully you get some dolphins swimming along with you. Uh, when you think it's time to turn around, you turn the boat around, you readjust the sails. It takes a couple minutes. You hit that autopilot and you have that same experience going home. So is it too much work? I don't think so. And I would be happy to take anybody that's listening to this video that thinks it is out for a sale and we'll see how hard of a job is it to go out and enjoy the sounds of the wind and the water and not listen to wah, wah, wah for the hour and a half. You know, I just between us, when I see a power go by, boat go by us, uh, this is what we usually do. Five gallons, 10 gallons, 15 gallons. Uh, it's a different, now, now that, you, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time working in order to pay for that fuel. But anyway, that's uh, my sailor joke. Um, if you have any questions about sailing, give me a call. I would love to talk with you. And I'm serious. If you really want to get into sailing and you want to see what it's like, give me a call. And I'm sure we can make that happen. Thanks for listening to my little video.